now I have Aaron from Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea joining me this morning, getting our day started with some good brews and some good conversation, day, yes. right? <laughs> I don't know how a day starts without caffeine of sorts. Or yeah, or at least, you know, at least tricking yourself because I'm a big decaf yeah. person, so Placebo it's just like is a very real thing. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Come like four o'clock if I want to stay up even a little bit later, but I don't want to be up till two in the morning. I'll placebo effect. Yeah. So like, yeah, I had caffeine. I had coffee. Yeah. My body it's, thinks I did. Yeah, exactly. I kind of, I find I have to kind of wait for caffeine till like around noon. Yeah. Otherwise it's like, if I have it in the morning, then I have a total major crash at two and the second cup of caffeinated coffee just really doesn't kind of help me recover. And I feel like that's the fun part. Everyone has a different yeah. level of intake. Yeah. You know, and depending on their time of day and that sort of thing. And that's and what they're doing that day too. It is. But you know, the best part is like, I feel like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, caffeinated or not, it's just like a warm hug. Yeah. Without having to like go through physical contact sometimes when you don't <laughs> want it. You know, it's, it's like, you want a hug, but you don't want to have to talk to anyone else, so coffee understands. Or kind of, kind of like on a morning like this morning, where the the snow on the car is like a little frozen and yes. crunchy, and it's just like you don't want to touch it because it's yep. we've had such nice warm weather. We have, and then this week is a whole different story. Yeah. So, but I mean that's springtime in the Rockies. Yeah, I know so, this is. Yeah, this we had is part of the mixed fun. precipitation, mixed pre unsettled weather. Yes, yes it's unsettled. <laughs> now, um, so tell us what's going on over. Over um, at Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea, because I knew you had special hours for April. We did. We were closing a little early at three through April, but then once we hit May, which is this week, we'll be uh, back to closing at five. So okay. six thirty to five, seven days a week. Okay. We still have our live music on Saturdays, which is really fun to like come in, relax, and have like some fun. It's usually like some folk or bluegrass, just some acoustic. Uh, music. Now, what what time on Saturdays is that? That starts at about? nine on Saturdays, nine okay. to eleven on Saturday mornings. So, so that's actually a nice way to kind of, if you're going to be skiing on Saturday, let the snow warm up, warm yes. yourself up with some some good coffee Whatever or tea or your breakfast, favorite some beverages. good music, and then head into the slopes. Yeah, but even before Saturday, this Friday is oh, yes. the local appreciation party. Mm -hmm. So the town of Silverthorne every first Friday of the month has a local party of sorts. Mm -hmm. And this one is a local appreciation party. So there'll be a lot of vendors there um, and things will be free, but there's a suggested donation. And then every vendor will have a different donation bin and it will go towards a different local nonprofit in the county. Oh. So every local vendor will have picked their nonprofit that they're donation bin goes to. That, that sounds like it might be a little different from last year, I, I, but... Last I'm, year it was kind of the same thing. Like if you came to Red Buffalo, we had a donation bucket that went to FERC. Um, oh, okay. And then there was I'm, also I'm some things for purchase as well, but for the okay. most part, things were free and all donation based. Oh, okay. Okay. And I think so I that's going to that be that sounds this Friday great. at the Silverthorne um, Performing Arts Center. Starts at four o'clock, goes till mm -hmm. seven. There's lots of fun vendors. There'll be live music. And like I said, just a fun thing. You get to go out and support. Yeah. your local community nonprofits, as well as have a fun time with yeah. all your community members. It is, folks. It is. It's, it's a great. Um, it's a great evening, especially like if you love local craft beer or yes. spirits. It's a great opportunity to taste a lot of what Colorado has to offer. It's and really it's just, fun. Yeah, lots of people yeah. out there. And then I know things are going to get covered over with a new round of snow soon. Yeah. But we were honoring Earth Month, which we're just going to keep going with because we okay. know that it's like mud season. Things are thawing out. And by things, I mean trash. Um, <laughs> so we yeah. do have our little trash buckets at Red Buffalo, too. And if like you take oh. that thing for a walk along the Blue River bike path next to our shop and bring it back with some trash in there, we'll throw you a free drink. Oh, so that is awesome. Like, you know, a community looks after its community. I know fun things are melting out. And yeah. We love to keep that river behind us nice and clean. It's yes. wonderful fishing, which, you know, our neighbors, cutthroat anglers, are happy to set you up with something. I just don't want to go fish when it's snowing out. Yeah. <laughs> they might have other opinions on that. But that's my opinion. <laughs> well, yeah, that. especially all those fishermen that are fishing there all winter long. All winter long in February and January. I mean, I guess it's no different than like the diehard skiers and riders that are like True. finding some snow somewhere in the middle of July. In the middle of, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they have to hike three hours to get, I mean, I've done it. <laughs> So maybe they look at us all crazy, but I'm I'm not the type who's gonna go out and fish in negative twenty. No, no, I'd rather hike uh, three hours. I'll go ski in negative twenty, <laughs> but my hands are warm. I'm not standing in water. I'm standing in frozen water. 
Okay. okay, so uh, finally, Erin, can you give people a location in hours for Absolutely. Red Buffalo? Absolutely. So mm -hmm. we're 358 Blue River Parkway in mm -hmm. Silverthorne. So that's a quarter mile north of the I-70 Silverthorne Interstate exit. We're open seven days a week for April, 630 to 3, and then once we hit May, we'll be back to 630 to 5. Wireless internet, everything you need to do just to start your day, continue your day, yeah. get the two o'clock espresso for when your noon yeah. coffee wore off or whatever it is. Yeah, it's your stop for whatever kind of stop you need during yes. your day. Okay, folks. Well, thank you, Erin. Thanks for having okay, me. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and have a look at the road report. Like we said,